Hi, and welcome back. Back to another busy day here in Florida. Today we're going to Everglades Holiday Park and, and we're going to take an airport trip out in the Everglades and see if we can spot any alligators. But we have a few stops before we get there. I have to pick up all my packages from Amazon. I have ordered a very special dress and we have ordered some flowers but but more on that later. But let's kick off the stay and <laughs> hit the road. and make a quick stop at Twin Peaks, the sports bar. We have some hungry men, <laughs> if you get what I mean. <laughs> and Twin Peaks is so much more than your typical sports bar. Hi. When you step into a Twin Peaks restaurant or yeah, sports bar, <laughs> well, it feels like you're just in a cozy cabin in the mountains. And the food here is great too. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, the men are hungry, they don't want to sit here, <laughs> they want to sit at the bar. We were getting a little bit hungry, so we ordered just a snack. So I, <laughs> I, I ordered a billionaire's bacon. It was thick cut bacon, brown sugar, red chili flakes, and smoked pap paprika. But wow, <laughs> it was so spicy. And my friends, they, they ordered some loaded fries with cheddar, pepper jack, bacon bites, green onions and bacon ranch. Today we are going to Everglades Holiday Park, located as far west as you can go before reaching the Everglades. This park is the home of the popular reality TV series Gator Boys. The airport tours here are longer than any other in the area, with 60 minutes of pure excitement. You can plan on spending a full hour on the water. They are open all year round, 365 days a year. But please check the hours of operation on the website before making your trip out to the park. Because the closing hours do change from time to time due to daylight savings time. Basically, in the spring and the summer, the last tour goes out at 5 p.m. and in the fall and the winter, the last airport tour goes out from 4 p.m. They open at 9 a.m. and the airport tours 
departs every 20 minutes and it costs 39 US dollars plus tax. Wow, that was a great trip down in the Everglades. After your airboat trip, you can just snooze around the gift shop or go in and see the wrestling show. And get some good information about the alligators and why they're here. Food. You don't have the food, you are the food. 
That's why it's against the law to feed them. So what we do here is we do shows with these nuisance skaters instead of killing them and turning them into a pair of boots, which he obviously appreciates, right? Yes, yes, yes. I work under him and rescue these guys in the people's backyards myself. This guy here was caught at four in the morning on someone's front doorstep. Imagine you're up early for work. You open your front door and surprise, this dude's sitting on your welcome mat. Literally what happened. Now this gator was promptly rescued. Again, I say the word rescue because if a different trapper showed up, they just shoot the poor guy and that's that. The reasoning behind that is possible to send it to me after. Now let's see. Are you going to chill out? There's nothing in their brain that tells them to stop eating, but guys, when they first come in from the wild, you don't act like this. He's going to try to kill me with literally everything that he has because he thinks I'm going to kill him and he's going to defend himself out of fear. But once they realize that I'm not going to hurt them, they're all more calm, relax. They're really tolerating a lot of this because he knows I'm no threat. But they also know that we're the guys to do the show. We do like 10 to 15 shows a day. Every gator does one. So that's where you're going to see me walking around with like, wow, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Now, does that make them tame or trustworthy? Absolutely not. If I were to trip and fall, my hand slips. If they think they can creep up on me, they will totally go for it. This guy right here literally tried to sneak up behind me and pull me off of another alligator while my mom was in the crowd. And if it wasn't for everybody pulling out their phones, like, yeah, he's going to die, I would have had the cue to look behind me. So any one of these very lazy animals would totally rip my legs off, eat it in front of me, and not think twice and feel bad about it because... And for lunch, we're going to the Cafe 27 on US Highway 27. You will find this place in the middle of, yeah, actually, nowhere. <laughs> Here you'll find a lot of bikes and loud music. And I don't even like rock music, but, but the atmosphere here, wow. Well, I'm coming back someday. So come join me in my next video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.